Hey what's up, it's Chris from Brucker Films and in today's video I'm going to answer some more of your questions. So let's get into it. Now I went onto Twitter earlier on in the week and I asked you to send me as many questions as you like and once again for the third time you did not disappoint. You sent in so many amazing questions and I'm really grateful that you sent them all in. So I'm going to try and answer as many of them as I can in this video. First question comes from Maddie, and that is, what camera do you use? Well, I use multiple different cameras. My video camera is a Sony FS7 and this is what I shoot all of my covers on and my music videos and this video as well. I also shoot on a Canon 5D Mark III and this is my photography camera. And then when I'm trying to capture those unique, interesting point of view shots, I use a GoPro Hero 5 Black. And now the next question comes from Georgia and that is, what apps do you use to edit your videos and films? For video, I use Adobe Premiere Pro and then I also use Adobe After Effects to do some motion tracking and some different visual effects. What are your up and coming plans filming wise? Now I'm always working on the next big project and I have got some amazing videos coming up in the very near future, but unfortunately I can't release anything just yet. I do promise I will tell you as soon as possible though. I also want to continue making these videos. I want to try and grow this YouTube channel up and reach a bigger audience. So I'm trying to spend as much time as I physically can pushing this YouTube channel. Can you come back to Birmingham please on a day that me and Els underscore 111 are there? Yes, just let me know when you're there and I'll be there. When did you start doing photography and videography? Well, my interest in filmmaking began when I was around eight years old, but it wasn't until I was around 15 years old when I started to chase this dream and started pursuing the career of filmmaking and photography. What is your biggest fear? Well, my biggest fear is not being able to do this. If something was to stop me from making videos, then that would really suck and I would absolutely hate that. Tiffany Peacock says, ever been to North Carolina? Unfortunately, I have not. I've only ever been to Los Angeles and New York in America, but I really do want to come to North Carolina and everywhere else in America for that matter. When is your birthday and when are you going back here to the Philippines? My birthday is August 1st, so that's coming up pretty soon actually. And I currently have no idea when I'm coming back to the Philippines, but I absolutely love my time there. So hopefully I can come back very soon. I'll let you know when I do. If you could pick a new skill to learn, what would you pick? I would probably pick the piano. It's a beautiful instrument, it sounds incredible, and it takes some serious hard work and talent to learn that instrument. So I would definitely go with the piano. What's something you really want to do that you haven't already? Well, there's this bridge in New Zealand and it goes in between two canyons and you get to bungee jump from the top of this bridge and it goes all the way down. And it's absolutely incredible. That's one of the things at the top of my bucket list and I really want to do that. I just need to get to New Zealand first. Now this is a really difficult question to answer because I always change my mind on what my favorite song is. But if I had to choose today and you put me on the spot right now, then I would probably say Michael Jackson's Black and White. Iona Reynolds says, have you ever been to the Lake District in England? Yes, I filmed a project there in 2017. Beautiful part of the world. What is the hardest thing you have had to film? I feel like creativity and passion run side by side. So when I'm not passionate about a project, then I find my creativity disappears and the project becomes really difficult and just the whole thing is really horrible. So if I'm not invested in the video or the track or the idea, then the whole thing becomes really difficult and they're the videos that become really difficult to film. How long until the merch is going to be out? Don't hold me to this, but I'm trying my very best to get it up on the site and ready to release on the 1st of July. So I'll let you know, I'll keep you updated. Who are the artists you would love to work with? Chris Brown, Bruno Mars, and if I could go back in time, Michael Jackson. Oh, this is a fun one. Brooker Films Q&A. If you were stuck on an island, what are your main three things you would take with you and why? If I had access to power and Wi-Fi, then I would take my camera, my laptop and my Steadicam and I would just spend as much time as I physically can shooting as many videos of the island. However, there probably wouldn't be Wi-Fi and there probably wouldn't be a plug socket to plug into. So that's probably not a very good idea. I'd just be stuck with these dead pieces of camera equipment. So I would probably take... I've no idea. Next question comes from Freya and that is, what's your biggest achievement in life? Now this is difficult. I'm very fortunate enough to say that I've achieved quite a lot so far and I'm super proud of everything that I'm doing, but to pinpoint it down to one specific moment is really difficult. I mean, moving to London was a big one for me. Shooting my first TV commercial was amazing. I think just being able to shoot videos full time as my job, I think that's my biggest achievement. The fact that I'm doing what I love, that's probably my biggest achievement, so. Yes. Next question comes from Julie and that is, what's the longest time you spent filming a video? Now I'm going to throw this back to 2014 and I'm going to go back to the Twist and Pulse's Halloween video. We did a remake of Michael Jackson's Thriller and this is like a 20 minute short film, but we filmed this all in one day. The video shoot lasted for 22 hours. That's 22 hours without a single break, just plowing through making videos. That was exhausting, but it was such an amazing passion project. So 
that was an absolute dream come true to shoot that project. But yeah, 22 hours on set is knackering. Next question comes from Amber Scott, and that is, how did you get into filming, and what advice would you give to people who want to start filming like you do? So I would advise to just start shooting as many videos as you physically can. If you don't have a camera, then use your phone. Shoot as many videos as you physically can and publish these to sites like Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and just share your work as much as you can. Over time, you'll start to notice that people will contact you for work, and the more and more that you do this, the more you'll get paid to do this, and it will eventually become your job. Now, you could go the traditional route and apply for BBC or ITV, Channel 4, apply for a local TV company. But the problem is there's so many people applying for these jobs and they only accept one or two people at a time. So the chances of getting this is very slim. So I would absolutely recommend doing it solo and going through the freelance route and just uploading and using social media to share your work. It's a lot of work, but if you're passionate about it and you really want to do it, then nothing will ever stop you. Can you speak French? I know a little bit. I know enough to get around, I go to Paris quite a lot, so I know enough to get around the city, but I couldn't have a full-blown conversation with someone. Hey, comment ça va? Ah, ça va très bien, merci. Et toi? Ah, ça va bien. Merci. Au revoir. Will you ever come back to Hungary? Yes. Budapest was incredible. I went there this year in February. It was snowy, it was beautiful. I absolutely loved it, so yes. 100% I'm coming back to Hungary. I just don't know when. What's the most embarrassing thing that has happened to you whilst filming? I fall over a lot. I'm not gonna lie, I fall over with my camera a lot. Because I'm running backwards with my Steadicam, typically I can't see where I'm going and I end up tripping over curbs, tripping into walls, tripping over fences. It's quite embarrassing, but it's also hilarious at the same time. Favorite thing to film? Music videos. Always music videos. What are the disadvantages in your job? Filmmaking and photography and a freelance career in general is very time consuming and you spend anywhere between 16 to 20 hours every single day working, grinding, smashing out the work. And if you enjoy having a social life, you enjoy spending time with friends and family, then you kind of have to sacrifice these in order to chase the dream of filmmaking and photography. So that's quite a disadvantage. What camera would you recommend as a first video camera for photography slash videography? Personally, I would recommend any of the lower end Canon digital SLR ranges. So I started with the Canon 1100D and then I moved up to the Canon 550D. They're great cameras and they're really good for learning filmmaking and photography. What's your biggest pet peeve? People eating with their mouth open. Ugh, it's disgusting when you hear that chomping sound. Terrible, disgusting, biggest pet peeve. By the way, absolutely love your name, Muri Brooker. Love it. The next question comes from Mez, and that is another merch related question. And that is, is there gonna be more merch other than tees? Yes. Initially, I'm just starting off with two t-shirt designs because I want to see how it does. I want to see how many people are interested in the products and if it goes well, then I want to introduce hoodies, I want to introduce hats, I want to introduce backpacks, maybe some sort of camera accessory, wristbands, but I just feel like this is a slow process and I just want to try and see how this initially does on the t-shirt. So, yes, but just not yet. What advice would you give to someone who loves to sing but has zero confidence to do it anywhere else than Twitter? My advice would be to absolutely ignore everybody, ignore what people think about you, you're amazing, and if you believe in yourself, then anything is possible. So just pluck up the courage and just sing in front of everybody and anybody. Sonia, how long does it take to edit a music video? It depends. A cover takes around two hours, a full music video can take anywhere up to 30 hours. How is it to work with Road Trip? They are great guys, they are very passionate, they are very funny, they're very energetic, they're crazy, but they're very talented individuals and they're also extremely hardworking, so it's a pleasure to work with them. Advice for someone having a hard time? Keep looking ahead, there's light at the end of the tunnel, just keep working through it and believe me, you'll be there in no time. Just keep your head up. What do you do in your free time? I don't have free time. This is everything that I do, all the time. Just filmmaking and photography. What is the hardest part you've experienced on editing videos? If you have any, how did you pass through it? It's always really difficult in an edit when you undershoot. When you don't get enough footage on the day and you're trying to stretch out the footage in the edit just to fill up the gaps, it becomes really difficult and the video looks really stale and boring. So to overcome this, I always make sure that I just filmed enough content on shoot. What is your favorite transition to use in music videos? If you've seen any of my music videos, you'll probably know this already. It's a whip pan. Absolutely love this. What are your plans for the future, family slash career wise? Well, family wise, I want to get married and I want to have a few children but I don't want to do that yet. I want to build up my career and I want to be at a point where I can afford to do that properly. Now, career-wise, I want to try and make more of a stamp in America, so I want to go out to Hollywood and I want to be doing more music videos. But as long as I'm making videos, it doesn't matter where I am in the world, then I'm going to be super, super happy either way. And the last question, and I feel like this is a lovely one to finish with, best life quote to live by, do what you love. 
And that's it. Thank you to everybody that sent in the questions. They were amazing. But if I didn't answer your question in this video, I'm very sorry, but don't worry. I'm doing Brooker Films Q&A number four very, very soon. So make sure you ask another question then. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to push the subscribe button if you would like to see more videos like this one in the future. Thank you ever so much for watching. I really do truly appreciate it. I hope you're having the most incredible day today. I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Oh, 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 oh,